Okay. Um, so you see this picture. This is a picture of uh, my friend's uh, baby niece, right? Um, and, you know, of course, what you're going to see. And I've been very vocal about the torture and the manipulations they have me, the psychological manipulation at least. What they've been doing is to make me react to, to kids of all age babies, especially, especially black little girls, in these disturbing ways of getting sexual stimulations. And then say that this is how you felt when you were a kid. Right? Obviously, that sounds retarded. It sounds uh, spectrum like to even try to make somebody to be like, you know, what you're feeling right now is we made you start thinking the way you would think when you were a kid, right? Obviously, at this point, I made it clear that I understand they are trying to torment me psychologically and make me react to babies in all disturbing ways and somehow want me to find the ways they manipulate me logical. This is tactics they've done to others. It's not, not just me. You see, for me, it's, if, if I, when I express what I say, it sounds almost... It, doesn't, like, it sounds like a mentally handicapped individual is providing you, is expressing to you his large the, like, ways of thinking. Because that's how they make target individuals think in this retardation of ways. And then rewire your brain in this disturbing, damn near insanity ways of thinking. I don't want to use the other word. You see this chubby, adorable little baby because he's big chicks and whatever. <laughs> very adorable, very wholesome. Uh, but in my mind, it has been changed into something sexual and disturbing. And this is a perfect type of torture that you hear. This is what this, this, these people do. This is what they do in regard of how they make you experience things in order to break you down they try to break you down make you think of yourself in different ways we heard uh the before i used the term notion of self they try to make you think in these new ways about yourself and then there's people around you right they try to make you accept this and then tell you how you're going to be raped and tortured and everything else in order to accept this manipulation as if it's you they're not telling you this because they're warning you they're telling you this torture that's going to happen to you because they want you to think that what you're experiencing at this moment is happening to you organically and you should feel scared and identified to it because they're going to torture you. They're going to rape you. Oh, listen, they rush out of the apartment walking fast. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, we got you. When it's obvious, this part is manipulations. It's obvious brainwashing tactics. And they think that the way they act, the way that they're just like all mad and just, oh my gosh, they're going to touch, they're going to rape people like you, you know. It's because they want you to be like, it's you, look, we mind it. Can you understand the retardation? That we, what they say is like, this is how you would think when you were a kid, we mind this. And they make noise campaign and just be aggressive and they this acting ways of trying to make you subscribe to this. You know, there's these things they do. They, they, they like to rewire things around, change reality. And they call it being a war because the thing is, it's more of a game for them, is how can we make somebody accept these manipulations? Let's change things around his brain, his memories, his thoughts. It's for him to accept this. And for me, I've been very vocal. They manipulate me to experience these things. Is manipulations. They think that the warnings of these tortures, the, the horrible torture I'm going to experience, should make me identify with these manipulations. The way we act, look, we're mad. Bam, 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 noise campaign. Walking. <laughs> Fuck you, campaign. These things are supposed to make me subscribe to this manipulation. It's what they do. It's what they, the way they make me experience these things. My brain is just being... F forced to think in these different ways right now they're like oh but remember what you did as a kid and it's like you when in reality it's what they do to me i will never look at this baby in these ways you know there's something they've done right i see these little earrings of kid. when i was a kid actually the thing the way they just even rewire reality i used to even now like not even now but when i was a kid especially like small things like the little earrings it made me want to gag because I always, for some reason, when I was a child, I looked at it as like, oh, I can imagine myself like swallowing an earring and wanting to throw up. Like something like that. They've changed it to turn it into something sexual. Where now they make me imagine like, 
like, like, uh, like nibbling on on their ears, and then they try to make me think. But you remember when you were intimate with this woman, you nibble on her ears. So that's do you understand the logic that the, the this stupidity, insanity, and retardations of ways of thinking, and then the act of going and then walk is like oh you see we're proof that we minded target individual and anybody who's watching this. Um, for me, I try to record every manipulation and nonsensical and retardations of ways of thinking they want me to think because they are truly manipulating you this way and try to make you think, you know, but what we're doing is just like we're mining or putting things together that you experience at some point and want to bring it back up and make you, it's just so stupid. It's, it's even when they're trying to be logical, it's even insane. Even the logic when they want me to be like, oh, let me subscribe to this logic. You're right. You're making me think the way I would think when I was a kid. Do you understand how retarded that is? Even that alone shows the retardations that they have to make themselves be. The reality is they want you to accept these manipulations. The truth is, these people force men and women to look at children in a sexual way. Now, uh, of course, I know myself. I would never react this way naturally. They have to force and manipulate my brain in these disturbing ways. Then try to make me subscribe to this retardation. But they have to play accordingly, act accordingly to make it seem like that's, that makes sense. This is logic. If we b- manipulate his brain well enough, he will react this way. You see, that's natural. If we're able to manipulate to experience this, this, this thing is natural. In my brain, they are doing everything possible to make me subscribe to this. And then they tell you how they're going to rape me, they're going to torture me, and then they make noise campaign right now, somebody just slammed the door. <sighs> That's proof. What I described here sounds typical brainwashing tactics. To try to make a target individual ad- accept and identify with manipulation that are definitely manipulations. And then they tell you how you should kill yourself because this logic is something you should subscribe to now listen to who's telling you to kill yourself listen to that in my brain if i told you the battles i'm experiencing i'm getting stimulations then they do things in my brain and then they try to talk to me about all the stupid things that the, 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 the stupid thing i did as a kid in eighth grade when i did something to myself they always try to bring that up as like that's proof it's like, no, a kid can do something stupid like that. And I was never looking at a kid and oh, I get the stimulation like that when I was a kid myself. They try to find ways to make you accept this. Now, target individual, they tell me how I'm going to kill myself too. Listen, um, at this point, if I'm tortured to the point where I end up killing myself, then at that point, it's because I've been killed. But these people talking to me are people who actually kill themselves because they see themselves where they are. And they like to say, call people nothing. Can you imagine your job is to try to make somebody accept these retardations of thoughts and co- consider yourself as something? This is the way they are living their something life. And me, the nothing, is calling out for what they are. These cowards, bottom feeders, who want adult men and women to look at children in a sexual way and then try to make you th- be descriptive of these retardations. In the last video, you just heard the horrible things they do to women, to children, to babies as young as this, this chubby, adorable little baby girl. This adorable thing. They have adorable, this adorable baby. They'll torture kids like that. And for me, oh my gosh, the, the way they try to make me imagine something sexual with this baby. But as I always said, what has, I will always put things in perspective. And as they want to escape in, in this false of our reality, these people who torture women and children, and they even use childlike individuals. I'm, sound, it's, I'm hearing somebody via V2K who sounds like a 14-year-old kid. You're going to hear that I'm not the only one saying that. They've used children to involve themselves in this program because it doesn't take an intellectual individual to be involved in this. Matter of fact, I think it's better when the person is less and less um, logically and rationally uh, at a high level. That's why a child-like individual works. 
better in this case. Because as an adult man or woman, you have to make yourself retarded. To try to gaslight somebody into accepting this manipulation that I just mentioned. It's nasty. And it's fair because the reality is, the reason why they would prefer childlike individuals involve themselves is because the entities truly running this program, not these bottom feeders that call it being at war, which they're just civilians contracted by this government entity. These entities running the shows are filled with pedophiles. And these are the true people in charge. While me, is trying to manipulate my brain into looking at these kids in a sexual way. Whatever it takes. Whatever illogicalness one can make me experience, they're going to do it. Oh no, you were. It's you and your kid. Oh, you pay. And then talk about me as a kid. The stupid thing I did as a child. When they're in a program that torture babies as young as this baby you see. There's nasty bottom fears who wants me to let them escape into a reality they put together when I know what they're part of. I know they torture children, you know that they torture infants. Younger than this baby. This baby is maybe a year old, year one year, two years old, maybe well, a year and a half. Three week old baby tortured by this bottom fears. If you don't believe me, understand the testimonials are there to provide evidence that torture of children are used in this program to torment individuals even babies they are systematic testimonials of the pedophilia type of torture they've done to people and of course i will always bring that up and them saying no what we're doing is we're making you think the way you think when you're a child it's how retarded they have to make themselves be that's the best word i can use at this point and then you see them you see the way they try to act accordingly and you see them for the, the involvement they're in i know you torture children you trash whatever brain manipulation you try to make me experience i'm not gonna subscribe to it the evidence are there that you torture children the evidence are there that you do the pedophilia type of torture the evidence are there there's a pattern of pedophilia in these agencies running this program the evidence are there that you torture a lot of women and the evidence are systematically there. Listen to what I'm saying and listen to what these people say. Your mind, putting thoughts of pedophilia. It's disgusting, disgusting. This take this whole thing into account so much. I make it so dramatic. It is dramatic. It's somebody trying to end my life. It's somebody trying to end who I am as a person. It's somebody trying to take over my mind, putting thoughts of pedophilia. It's disgusting, disgusting, this disgusting things. You saw where I was going with that first word. Disgusting things that I don't even want to talk about because it makes me sick. I don't even like those words in my mind. But it is what it is. So I have no choice now but to acknowledge that there are people in my in my surroundings or whatever they're doing. I don't know how they do it. I don't care. I don't know if it's through my friends. I don't know. I don't systems into human will in no touch torture the techniques are more psychologically specialized for each target most common examples include homosexual targets that are forced with voices that are derogatory to their lifestyle and similar mental images almost all targets are forced to view child pornography in their minds and i realized that was a cost so i thought look at this losers don't know how to put me down and they are doing this or voice to skull. This involves the projection of voices, noises, and music directly into my mind to communicate with me in real time and at the speed of thought. And it also includes the manipulation of thoughts, emotions, and perceptions in the person's mind. Additionally, the targeting is all highly perverted and sexual as well. I can be free from this torture. Every day has been a miracle of survival. 
I also experience what is referred to as malodorance. This is the alteration of the smell sensation so that I am often made to smell various things, including smoke, burning, dirty diaper, or baby powder, which they sometimes combine with the pedophilia type of torture and the highly disturbing pornographic images and videos, including highly disturbing pedophilia type of images and videos when I close. Ms. Catherine Nestor. My name is Catherine Nestor and I'm from Pennsylvania. She has spoken of a long history of abuse of the human research subject. Although no one mentioned MK Ultra today, President Clinton recently apologized for this. My young child and I have been used as non-consensual test subjects. We have been subjected to co-intel pro-like stalking, remote neural monitoring, and electromagnetic torture resulting in psychological and physical damage. And I won't go into the details of that because I have four pages written in here that is very similar to Connie's testimony. Please do not wait 70 years to investigate this. I ask Dr. Amy Gutman to begin today. There is new work for the Commission for Human Subject Protection on our shores. And please give us a dramatic response. Injustice. Uh, you mean as far as the Justice Department feeling me? Well, in terms of your uh, uh, being a victim. You mean what I'm feeling? Yeah. I, uh, explain a little bit to me how sure. you uh, perceive sure. yourself well, as being. I have actual photographs of burns on my body. When I went to my doctor, uh, the response was, how do I know you didn't do that to yourself? How do you even address that? I've passed two psychological evaluations. Not one, but two. The one physician said, you're mentally sound as a bell. He said, I don't have any idea what's going on with you. When I go to sleep, when I go to try to sleep, I feel like I'm being lit up like a Christmas tree. I feel every cell in my body just bouncing out of my body. I can't even describe it. I get uh, electric shock of my rectum. I get electric shock up my nose. I've woken up with burns on the end of my tongue. I've had burns on the palms of both of my hands. I vibrate. I vibrate. I can barely hold a piece of paper without quivering. Does that answer your question? I'm trying to find out what's the source of these. The source of these exotic weapons. They talk about in 2970 that if you would pass it, it might give other communities the courage to do the same thing and show our defense department we are not the enemy. We are not to be attacked. We are not terrorists. Most of us are defenseless women. Oh, yeah, she was shot in the face. You know, sound like an angry ass old person. You know, then a couple of days later, a female said the same thing. Well, get shot in the face. You know, stupid shit like that. But what I really noticed is with the voice of skull, it's a bunch of females. You know, and I'm like, bro, <laughs> really? You're not a woman. What real woman would stalk another female or sit back and allow that to go on? You, you really think? They, they think it's nothing. Which pathologist working in private practice with young children. I had a seven-year-old client who has autism, and she was the most significantly affected of all of my clients. I eventually had to tell this client to go to another clinic. And they used her to threaten the most torture in me as well as their most extreme forms of torture. For several months, she would cry and scream horribly during our therapy sessions despite having a great day at school. This was highly unusual behavior for her as she usually behaved very well during her therapy sessions and had been making incredible progress on all of her therapy goals. This was used to threaten extreme torture on me, making me scream and cry, etc. They would make the kids act out the kinds of torture that would later be done on me. For example, they would also sometimes make her bite her hand, threatening to make me bite my hands, as they often do. One day, she had a large, severe bite mark on her arm. She has also grabbed her crotch, saying, ow, and this was used to threaten me with severe sexual torture. <laughs> One day, I was observed 
One day, I also observed her gasping for air a few times in the same way that I do when I am being more severely suffocated. The suffocation had been in a mild state for a while up until this point. Many of their torture methods are cyclical in severity. Right after I saw this child being suffocated, then I began to experience very extreme suffocation all day, every day, for about two months straight, and that's also when they made it worse when I eat. Then I also work with a four-year-old little girl with Down syndrome, as well as her five-year-old sister who also has Down syndrome. I observed both of these girls suddenly grabbing their genitals in pain and verbalizing, ow. I observed this at least on one or two occasions for each of them during their separate sessions. During one session, I observed one of my three-year-old clients suddenly grab his crotch and lean forward in his chair. And then he made a frightening grimace of severe pain. I asked him what was wrong and if he needed to use the restroom, but he said no to having to use the restroom and was not able to verbalize anything more due to his language delay. He looked puzzled and bewildered. Even though I had stated that it was time to do more work right before this incident, I quit with a two-year-old and a six-year-old. He was simply fired. One employee purchased sexually explicit videos of young girls filmed by their mothers. He resigned. One employee estimated that he had viewed up to 1,400 sexually abusive images of children while on agency assignments. Not sure what actions, if any, were taken by him. One contractor arranged for sex with an undercover FBI agent. I think that you mentioned that. Posing as a child, he had his contract revoked. One CIA staffer was charged with child sexual crimes, and the employee was also under investigation for mishandling classified material. The CIA did not answer detailed questions, saying only that the agency takes all allegations of possible criminal misconduct committed by personnel seriously. So you're saying the reason why they didn't take this more seriously Crimes involving children, says BuzzFeed, including the viewing the viewing of images of abuse, have been uncovered at other agencies that handle sensitive information, which oversees America's spy satellites, acknowledge viewing images of child sexual abuse during polygraph examinations. This is so disturbing. At a symposium in 2016, Daniel Payne, a top Pentagon security official, said that when workers' computers were examined, the amount of child porn I see is just unbelievable. Is this something that is happening for whatever reason with more frequency um, in our intelligence agencies? Or is this something that is more pervasive in the general population than I originally realized. I mean, what's going on here? This is Look, so I mean, bizarre remember, and so evil. Ali, we're told, and I, when I was put through recruitment into the intel community, you know, you're put through polygraphs, you're put through a rigorous election process. Why aren't these people weeded out? Why are so many right. pedophiles allowed to be given top level security clearance remember these aren't just people walking in off the street and saying hey can i get hired can i get a job you're put through an extremely rigorous background check screening screening process it's called an ssbi single scope background investigation there are people they interview you they interview your family they interview your contacts okay, they go through your online footprint they go through everything so why is it that when they're going through these footprints they're not checking these digital footprints they're not checking for so many pedophiles getting through their ranks. If it were up to me, you need to go into Congress and Congress needs to- Education. I live in El Dorado Hills, California with my wife of 14 years, Lorna, and our five children. Nicole is 15, Patricia 14, Christopher 13, Dylan nine, and Avery 16 months old. Not only have I been going through this, but my entire family has suffered right by my side. We have all experienced the same type of harassment on different levels. We have all suffered the same symptoms while this harassment was going on. Include severe tooth decay and vision loss. Unexplained rashes and burns, severe headaches, mood swings, anxiety, thyroid problems, high blood pressure, heart problems, vision loss and cancer. Detailed photos of the rashes. Our infant daughter, at three weeks old was diagnosed with learner syndrome. This was after a severe rash appeared on her body after a few days of torture. 
We were told by a couple doctors to take her home and love her and spend the rest of the time we have with her. They told us she would ultimately die from this syndrome. Thank God that Lerner syndrome was not what affected our daughter. Doctors are still dumbfounded by her rash and symptoms. Sadly, we know that her symptoms were effects from the torture this poor innocent three-week-old baby endured. Recently, I lost...